these are gonna be some of my fastest games I've ever had. Oh my god, we're, we're all. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the SU-17 M2. What if I told you that this thing gets an air spawn and can go Mach 1.15 on the deck and has R60s for them where you can just press to battle, be at the enemy's climb area in less than a minute and then get a kill uh, right after that and run away for dear life or not or just slot in behind them. That's the thing. This is, I think, the only plane in the game, mis uh, if I'm not mistaken, right now at this battle rating that can air spawn and then maneuver behind the enemy climb and potentially get off its missiles before the enemies know what's happening. Now, that, I don't know, has happened, but the process will allow it. This thing is so fast, there's no reason for this thing to have an air spawn. And so when it gets behind the enemies, the spawning mechanics, the spotting mechanics in this game are really wonky. You won't show up even if you're like 2.8 away. And at that point, the enemy will get a blip, and then you got to wait for that enemy to check their radar. And then at that point, the missile's probably on the way and then they don't see the missile and then they hear it and then they maneuver they drop flares way too late and you repeat the process for another enemy until the enemy team starts to realize what's going on like i understand a skyhawk or an a7 even that's kind of pushing it but this thing no business it's just gimmick time with war thunder this is just it doesn't make any gosh darn sense but one thing's for sure we can be absolute brain dead today. I can, I'm going to drool today and we're going to get three kills a game. All right, here we go. 20 minutes of fuel because we're going to be burning the whole entire way. Attacker spawn R60 air targets and let's queue in. I have a feeling this is going to be like my fastest. These are going to be some of my fastest games I've ever had. Oh my god, we're, we're all. Oh, why do you go down? Why do. Oh, let's spawn. Who does that? Oh my gosh. Was that a bug? That guy did, didn't even seem phased. Okay, time to go down. Indicator on, watch out, here I come. Anyways, let's forget about that and uh, welcome to almost 1,400 kilometers an hour. This is kind of where we're going to max, right? No, the air is nice and thin over here. Okay, yeah, yeah. There we go. As you can see, we're already across the map and look at where the other fighters are. <laughs> wow. A MiG-19, a MiG-15. See, the thing is, why does this thing really need an air spot? Like... Is it the gimmicky things that there's like, hey, play the new vehicle. Ooh, get it. It has an air spawn. We're going to change it soon. So anyways, we're just going off to the left and we're going to climb underneath them because they're all still climbing. This guy doesn't even know it's, what, what, what's, what, what's happening right now. All right. Cool. I don't know if he can see me or not. I'm just, I'm just, I'm stuttering right now because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, easy early game kill. Back into mock. Nothing can catch us other than a missile. Let's see here. We're going to go in for this guy. I'm just so fast. Missile two out. Nice. That was a sick one. Okay, broke that missile. What if what if we ran into it though? Like this is this is the gameplay with this thing. And I gotta say, I really gotta say, it is really fun. 
just because you don't have to really think too much. You just got to go fast and press two buttons and you're good to go. Okay, we're looking at another one here. We're pretty slow right now. Flares, flares, flares. I'm not checking my six, so a missile could be inbound. Oh, he's... Well, he cut back around, though. Okay, good. We're off. Now, I'm going to go after this hunter here. This probably is going to be my death, but the hunter doesn't have flares, and the R60s don't like flares. What the f was that? Uh, oh, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, I just got a huge packet or a huge uh, screen tear there. I don't know if, even if I drop frames. All right, sick guys, three kills. Now let's go uh, enter defeat zone. That guy's like, yes, he's turning. Nice kill. And as you can see there, only a minute left of fuel. So we did exactly what what we're designed to do. We got in there, we got our kills, and hopefully, I mean, if our team was, if our team wasn't made up of SU-7s that don't have any air-to-air -air missiles and don't have any flares, I think we would have done much better. I got a feeling once a lot of people have this SU-17, things are going to change quickly in the tide of the Harrier versus some of the um, the SU-7s. Definitely. The Harriers just are really good at early game. They have great missiles, but we have four of these and we're much faster and we can defeat a lot of those missiles with our speed. God, look at me on the map. This map is huge. Well, it was huge for like MiG-15s and Sabres. Same time, the Sabres in the MiG-15 still went like 1,050. <laughs> Here I come. We got someone out in front going left, going northwest here. This guy's going to have two on him. Make that three, potentially. This F4 is going to, or this F104 is going to spot me here. You flying over that airbase? Yeah, we're starting to fly over that airbase. These guys are pretty far out. I got to get closer to them so we'll start maneuvering and then we'll fire this off. That's impressive of how fast we're going right now. Gonna get engine nicked here by the anti-air. All right, we're actually scot free. Three minutes of fuel left, unfortunately. We're gonna go out of burn and just uh, rely on this um, this engine's power without um, after burn. We gotta save some fuel. That guy cost me a lot of time, but we got him. We got him. <laughs> uh, gonna get you this time, buddy. Perfect. Just absolutely perfect positioning right now. Wow, look at that. That was that was weird. Yep. That thing head on is just like it's it's bread and butter right there. See, once you entertain them in their own get them, dude! Flaps? Flaps. Oh, just a, a, nice, a nice water landing. We got a 1v1, though. See, this is this is very rare to do in um, ARB because majority of the time... Oh, dude, launch that other one. Launch it. 
You're not going to get a better chance than now. I mean, he's he's going to defeat it, but then he's going to get slow. I'm interested what Lunar's going to do here. Oh, be, be, be careful with that ammo, man. I would just get as close to him as possible. Now, I can't talk, though, because I got shot down in the head on it. The MiG-19 the MiG has all the advantage right now. Ooh, good cut, though. Air brakes are out by the MiG-19. F-104 is full burn and full pull now. We've got a... Woo! <laughs> oh! Oh, he got him! The F-104! That was dirty! But it looks like the MiG-19 is still in the fight here. I thought he was way above those guns. Launch the missile. Missile is out. Better pull those flaps in. Now this is the same situation that the F-104 was in earlier. And now look at the F-104 just disengage. Yeah, so what happened there, the F-104 wasn't using, I don't think, his full ability to accelerate there. He was trying to get the MiG-19 to overshoot, and he did. And this is just a losing... The MiG-19 is still holding good energy, though. Or at least it's still, it's still, it's still rocking some power. Still at 800 kilometers an hour. 700. Here comes the trap. I bet this F-104 is having so much fun. See, you can't do this in um, regular ARB because everyone ganks you and stuff. Good thing the MiG-19's oil is at 50 centigrade, and, you know, the engines are still great. MiG-19's heading back for base. That sounds like RPM reduction there. No, we still got it. F-104 is on six. Is that a missile? That's a missile. Good defeat. Good defeat. Good defeat. No, don't turn back in, and that's the game. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So we've done the the uh, low altitude stuff. Uh, okay, so a 15 kilometer head start, and this is going to extend to probably about a 18 kilometer head start. Look, I'm already at their base. Let's go. We're going to do a climb this time instead of a a, a rush. We're going to go with a full blown climb above them. And we're going to keep this puppy going for, uh, as maybe up to like 15,000 meters. I don't fully know. There's the enemies right there. You can see them trying to get up here, but they're not going to be able to get up here until they kind of get into our zone or our area to be able to turn around and do this. This is just weird, isn't it, everybody? Look at me. Like, from this position, I can just slot in and gank two of like the under BR players <laughs> like super easy okay 9,000 meters still at 800 kilometers an hour we, we can put some wing out help us turn here yeah we're using it all right back in all right oh there's a Corsair I'm, 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 I'm kind of scared to use that thing. Okay. Now, the R60 loves to do this kind of drop shot here. Drop in and fire from above. Uh-oh. I'm getting radar locked by somebody. Okay, we got F4C. Does not have flares, I believe. Oh, geez Louise. Look at this. What the crap? That's, I don't, guys, where, where did that guy ever come from?
Okay, that's just really weird. Okay, now this F4... Mm, let's see here. I'm going to go for this. Uh, no radar locks. Radar locks are lame. Wow, eight kilometers out. Give me a break. Okay, missile's on, right? Okay, let's see here. We're up. Okay, that this F four this F four E is going to give me some trouble here. I bet. No, he's not. He's, he's not going for me. Enemy kills us the F one hundred four. Wonderful. If that FG would have just left him, he would have still been alive. I bet. Oh, wow, he actually dodged that missile. Okay, this F four E is going to be pulling with me. We're at the battlefield edge. I might get returned to battlefield. I don't know. Let's not pull too hard here. Wow, another one. Wow, we got a lot of speed on this guy. Yeah, I was wondering what he was doing there. We've got speed. We're going to use it here. Okay, this F4 doesn't want anything to do with me. We're back around. Oh, he does. Okay. Not ideal here. Jesus! I think he had the full, the full load out there. Thank you, Jaguar. All right, and we got one F4E over here. And it's just looking Goldilocks as ever. We're going to start a pre-turn here. Yes, get away. Oh, you got... Oh, oh my God. I'm so much better than him. I'm so good at this video game. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen. That's the kind of gameplay you can expect with the uh, SU-17. It's probably one of the better... How do I say this? It's really, really, really good because of that air spawn. And it would be really, really, really... It would be good if it had a ground spawn. Especially at the battle rating. When you get versed in G91s and sabers and stuff with this thing, it's, it's like a joke. Okay, hope y'all enjoyed... You can't go wrong with something that has an air spawn for R60s and speed that um, can kind of outrun missiles at, um, at times. And you can completely climb up. I don't know what they're doing there. This is just a big oversight. I don't understand it. It's not like a, a, um, a, a Skyhawk or I don't know. It's just, uh, it's too much. And I'm sure it's going to be changed soon. They're just making it, you know, tempting for people to grind for, maybe. I don't know. That's tinfoil hat, but, you know, this game is tinfoil hat. You guys be good. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Be safe. Peace out.